Hey everyone, Tony D here with another Screenwriter's Rant. Uh, this one's going to be about Between Two Ferns, the movie on Netflix. Ga Zach Galifianakis had this internet show on Adult Swim where he'd interview celebrities and then it would get uncomfortable. Um, I never really got into it and now they're trying to make a movie out of it, so let's see. Welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns and my guest today is Matthew McConaughey. Good to be here, Zach. Of all the things you can win an Oscar for, how surprised are you that you won one for acting? Here we go. I noticed that you're wearing a shirt. Is everything okay? And you have a major leak in here. I'm so I'm so sorry. Let's see what's going on. With these oh, just don't do that. Yeah. See, I don't know this whole fern thing didn't really work for me because it's sort of like fake but it's not fake it's sort of funny but it's not funny it's sort of like this weird meta humor thing he's going for which sometimes is okay but for the most part just seems you know he can be funny Zach can be funny he was very funny in the first hangover he played a good role he had a great character. And I feel like in the following two hangovers, his character was completely ruined. And I sense that Zack had a lot to do with that because he pushed this idea of doing meaner and meaner things for his character because he thinks that's funny. And it is funny, but it's not funny when you're invested emotionally in a character who's a nice guy like the... His character in The Hangover in the first movie is this nice, sweet guy who just does something stupid. And, you know, in the end, he becomes one of the guys, and that's great. In the second and third movies, it just... I didn't like him at all. Eh, this is the plot. <laughs> I mean, why not just do the show again? And just let us binge watch it on Netflix? I, you know, why are you going to try to hammer a plot into this? It's, I, I don't think it's sustainable. Give me a network option. I'm a white man and I'm straight. I deserve it. Ha 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 ha. Green as ever. Is the whip off to you? We're taking between two ferns on the road. My guest today is Benedict Cumberbatch. Batch. But Benedict Hem Benefit Lumberjacks. J uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's what it is. I, I mean, look, he's got all these big celebrities in it, but they're obviously in on it, I think. I think they have to be in on it. It would be ballsy if they weren't. <laughs> but he's Zach Galifianakis. He's not Sasha Baron Cohen in disguise as Ali G or something. That would be that was amazing because they didn't know who Sasha Baron Cohen was and they didn't know who Ali G was. They thought he was a real guy doing a children's show or whatever they thought he was doing. I think they thought it was a children's show, like an educational show. And then he would start saying these insane things, and it was amazing because you had real reactions. These aren't real reactions, really. Maybe partially, but massaged a little bit. Oh. I read a line that you're very private and declined to answer questions that make you feel uncomfortable. Is that true? And how old were you when you got your first period? Oh. Ha ha ha. He's so uncomfortable. I, I don't I don't think so. Zach is too big of a celebrity now. And that all these major, major celebrities agreed to be on this, you can't convince me that they don't know something's up. Bradley Cooper co wrote, directed, and starred in A Star is Born. I hear it's great. Are you hoping that will open doors for other hot idiots? Uh... I don't know. 
don't know if I'm going to get these shows out. We don't have any money. We're hungry. We're going to order the clam strips. How big are they? Have you ever seen a chicken strip? I've never seen a chicken wear clothes. Really? Really? I... Nah. Nah. This is not working for me. Um, you know, meta comedy, part of the thing is it's so absurd and crazy and ridiculous. It's purposely bad, but then it's supposed to be funny. You can't sustain a two-hour movie like that. You can't. It's too much of an investment on something you're saying, ah, F you. And, and it's not a big F you if Zach Galifianakis asked all his celebrity friends to be in this movie. That, to me, would be... If Sasha Baron Cohen was doing something like this, maybe. Maybe, like, ten years ago, before he was known. But Zach is known. This isn't... This isn't edgy. It's just weird. And it's not even Tom Green level of weird. At least Tom Green... Tom Green, he was known, but he was so damn weird, he'd make people uncomfortable. He'd do uh, bizarre things to make people uncomfortable. To the crazy ones. The misfits. In Deepbox. I'm just curious about the pathology behind this. Some people would say we're the crazy ones. But I think we're genius. Show. What if we take this upstairs? He's probably at home polishing his egot. Is that what he calls his penis? Between two thirds of the movie. Yeah. Is, this gonna be a, is it going to be a penis? Not in theaters. Not in theaters. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm out. That's that's just too much time to waste on what is basically just a really weird sketch they used to have on Adult Swim. Uh, nah. I, I, I just don't think it's sustainable. It, it, it seems to me that that kind of comedy is like, you're, you're supposed to be edgy, you're supposed to be do, doing something really out there, something that like F you to the audience, or that's just so lame and cheap and pathetic, you're like daring the audience to tune out. But now you're asking them to tune in for 90 friggin' minutes. No, I don't think it could work. I don't think, you know, this is the place to do that stuff, I guess, on Netflix, where, like, you can put not real movies. Um, to me, like, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie, I have more of an investment in that than, than this. Maybe it's because I didn't really watch the show, and I, I, I didn't really like it. I kind of like Zach. I like him in The Hangover. I like him in that movie with Will, Will Farrell, where they're running for office and maybe a couple other roles, but I also hated him in a few other roles too. So, uh, I don't know. Nah, this is a no for me.